Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to install and set up your HP Smart Tank 500 series printer on your Windows device. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys on how to do it. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So all you have to do is open up a web browser, doesn't matter which one, and into Google you want to search for HP Smart Tank 500 series printer support go ahead and search for that best results come back with an hp support page that says hp smart tank 500 all in one series open that up and now go underneath the support category that says software and drivers and now if you just scroll down on this page there should be an item underneath installation software and drivers that says hp easy start printer setup software go ahead and select the download item for that you can select the download item for that, or you can expand it underneath installation software and full basic driver support. You can select the print and scan driver and accessories for the HP Smart Tank 500. We're going to just select that one. Just in the future, if one or the other isn't available, you can select the other option. That's just kind of why I highlighted it there. This is a pretty big download. It's about 117 megabytes, so it might take a moment to download, so just please be patient. and go ahead and open up that file. I accidentally did it twice, that's why I canceled out of it the one time. And if you receive a user account control prompt, it should be from a verified publisher, HP Inc. Select yes. And then just proceed with the on-screen wizard, getting your printer connected to your device, whether it's a wired or wireless-based connection. You have to accept the end user license terms. And then just proceed with the install here. So pretty straightforward process on that, guys. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.